This is a KGUN 9 On Your Side news update. By the end of this week, thousands of troops are expected to be deployed to the southern border as the migrant caravan continues moving through southern Mexico. And on your side's Veronica Acosta has more from the border where some of those troops could be headed. Veronica, good morning. Well, hey, good morning. That announcement to send more than 5,200 troops to the southern U.S. border comes as that migrant caravan continues traveling through southern Mexico, making its way closer and closer to the U.S.-Mexico border. Now, those troops of those 5,200 troops, right around 1,700 would be deployed right here to southern Arizona. Others would be deployed to southern Texas and southern California as well. They would not only secure some of those ports of entry along the border, but also work to secure the gaps between those ports of entry. You can find more information on this on our website, Kagan9.com. Reporting in Nogales, Veronica Costa, Kagan 9, on your side. Thank you, Veronica. The trial date is set for a volunteer who was charged with illegally harboring people in the United States. Scott Daniel Warren was arrested in January after federal agents conducted surveillance on a building in Ajo where two migrants were given supplies and a place to stay. Warren has pled not guilty. His trial is scheduled for January 8th of next year. In Pima County, we're getting updated early ballot numbers from the Arizona Secretary of State as we're exactly one week from Election Day. Right now, about 50 percent of registered women have voted. Some 43% of those are from registered Republicans. About 33% are from Democrats. Now let's head over to April for a look outside. Good morning, April. Good morning. We are seeing a pretty nice sunrise this morning. It was official as of 639, but we are still seeing quite a bit of cloud cover if you're looking to the east. We are going to warm back into the 80s, but wind will be the big weather story today, and much cooler air will be the big story for your Halloween. Only going to warm to the low 70s, which means overnight we're going to dip down to the 40s. April, thank you. For more news and weather updates, you can head to our website, kagan9.com. Of course, follow us on social media.